by the end of this video you will be able to fully rig this character and in another video i will show you how to apply inverse kinematics to make your posing easier and so you can make animation which is more efficient and easy so i imported this character from a website called mixamo i downloaded it then i went to file import and then i imported it depending on what type of file it is and then this character appeared so first of all to rig a character you want to apply the scale if you ever scaled it down so control it and apply the scale first of all and just do it just in case because it might go wrong and then after make sure to make your 3d cursor um over here because we're going to first put a bone right there shift a and if we go into armature you're gonna, going to add a single bone and as you can see we have added a bone so go into edit mode you can hit tab to go into edit mode go into edit mode and then you want to scale this bone down and as you can see this bone is actually inside the mesh so you can't really see it properly so as you can see we got two, prop two property panels okay one is for armature and one is for the bone we're going to click on the armature property and in, in in the viewport display we are going to enable in front and now the bone we, we will see it uh, even if it's in the mesh we'll still be able to see it so i'm going to quickly move it inside the mesh now when we are rigging we're going to be using these shortcut keys one to go into front orthographic view, three to go to the right orthographic view, and seven to go to the top orthographic view. So we, we're going to be doing this because we're going, be, we're going to be aligning the bones, the armature bones. So then we'll get a perfect shape. Now we're going to use a very efficient method to make the rigging. We're going to just we're, going, we're just going to add the bones on one side of the um a mesh. And then we're gonna we're gonna use a method called symmetrize, so then we can do it. We're gonna just do right click and then symmetrize right there, and then it would flip it on the other side. We're gonna have a fully rigged character. So first, we're gonna grab the bone right here and place it down here. It's gonna be our main bone, and then we're gonna go to third number um three to go press three to go to um the right orthographic view, and then you'll see we have our bone inside. Perfect. Now to add another bone. You're going to select the pointy bit over here. I'm going to do E to extrude another bone. I'm going to make it go up here. Now, this, these two are the um, bones in the chest. I'm just going to make it three bones. I'm going to move this a bit back right there because our span is not straight. And there we go. Now I'm going to go to the front. We're going to make sure it's fully straight. And then we're going to hit the E key to make it go over here. And then right there, we're going to go number three to align it hit g to align it right there once you have done that go back to the front orthographic view and then e to extrude and you can see i have that type of mesh which shows where the bones are and then place it there then go to number three then grab it and then align it right there to grab it you just hit the g key so then i'm going to e to extrude again and there we go the number three to go into right orthographic view and align it I'm going to extrude again and no, and the process is the same all the way through. And then I'm going to align it. And if you can't see, probably it's all right, it's just a rough um, position. And then you can also go to the top of a graph for to see if it's straight as well. Right there. And now, as you can see, we have done the arm and the chest. Now we are going to do the fingers. To do the fingers, we're just going to do the top of a graph for you because we can't really see it properly if we're like that. Now, we're just going to hit the E key to extrude from to each finger and then we're going to delete these bones and you'll see why because this, we can, this is going to be a very efficient method. Now, we're going to um, make the bones for the finger, so right there, there, and there. And then we're going to go to um, go to right of graph and make sure they are straight. This one doesn't look very straight. It's probably because... To make it like this and then grab this one we need to make it is perfect because then it might cause you some problems there we go now we're going to do the same for all of the fingers 
if you're new to rigging, I think you should probably look at the whole video first, then you should do it. So I'm going to quickly grab this, G to grab, and line it. Like so. I'm going to do the same for here. E to extrude a bone. And keep on extruding. Right there. And I'm going to grab it and align it. Like so. As you can see, over here our bone has disappeared. So I'm just going to hit delete this bone and then delete this bone as well. So I have to do it again. If there's a problem, we add another bone. See, we added like so many bones here. Uh, if, you want, if you make that mistake, then your rigging won't work. So you can do it again. So E to extrude and then E to extrude again. And now if you go to top view, 7, and then we're going to align it like so. There we go. And now we're going to do the same over here. Seven to go into top view and then align it. As you can see, all of these bones are parented to this one main bone. And in a minute, we're going to name these bones because we have to name it to make to use the method that showed you how to symmetrize. And now for the form, this might be the hardest because it's a bit bent, but we're going to align it. See, I just added an extra bone and we don't need to do that. So now we have done that. You can see we haven't aligned this. So we're going to hit G key. And we're going to align these bones right there. Grab it. And make sure you look at all views so it's perfect. And G right there. As you can see, we have done it. I'm just going to fix it from here. So when look at all views done. Looks good. Side view looks all right. Maybe this bone right here needs to be a bit bent. This looks all right. And then seven. Amazing. Now we have done that. We are just going to delete these bones over here. So we're going to do X to delete. And you'll see that it's parented. When there's a line, that means... This this bone right here is parented, is a parent of this bone right here. So delete this one and nothing would happen. So this is more tidy. This bone is um, parented to all of these. Or I should say this bone is parented to this one. This is the parent, this is the child. Okay, now we have done that. We're going to use the slightly same method for this one. So we're going to do go to front view and then we're going to um, click on this circle. E to extrude, look into side view and see if it's straight, it's straight, and then we're going to do E to extrude this large bone. Three to go into side view, I maybe want to bend it a little back right there. And then we're going to do the same for this bone right here. E to extrude right there. Go to number um, side view, maybe bend it a little bit and then move this. Grab it right. Looking good so far. And they're going to do another E to extrude the bone. Make sure you extrude it from the right bone because then it may be a mistake. So for the bone right here, I am just going to make a straight bone like this and delete this bone because this bone is kind of unnecessary and then it's parented to this bone. So then we're just going to make it the right side by grabbing it. These edges. If you want to move a whole, whole bone, then you're supposed to um, grab the main part so you can grab the whole thing. But even if you want to make it larger, you just grab the, these circle things so you can extrude it the tips right there. Just grab it and then you can do go to front view and align it. See, it's not aligned properly. Then I maybe want to go to back view like so. Perfect. If it's not sure, it doesn't matter. It's going to be all right. So I'm just going to quickly go over here and maybe change. You can see you don't have to worry about these properties. But just hit the end key if you want to look at these properties. And I have another video about them. So now we have done that. We are just going to delete this bone right here because we don't need that. It's going to be parented. And as you can see, it is not parented. So to parent the um, bone, we're going to hit 
um, cl um select this bone and then shift select this bone or this bone it depends it depends what bone you want to parent it to and then shift select control p to parent and then keep offset and you can see there's a line now it's parenting now we have done that that list looks amazing now this is the most um boring part wait i will show you what the boring part is in a minute but first you have to make the head as well don't forget the head because you have to move the head sometimes go into front view straight and then grab it to make it straight then go to side view and then make it properly straight now we have done that we are going to name the bones now this is what the longest part is and it's very daunting and because it's very very repetitive so first of all we're going to click this bone and then we go into burn properties now we have to name this bone now we're going to name this obviously head there's only one head so we're going to let's name it head and then this we're going to name it chest and then over here we're going to name it um let's name it lower let's name it stomach it's the stomach now once you have done that let's do the arms this would be the shoulder then we're gonna add a dot capital l and then this the dot l stands for left side and as you can see, this is the left side of the mesh. And there, since there are two shoulders, there's going to be one over here and the one over here. We're going to add a shoulder dot right and shoulder dot L. And then Blender has her own system, which will create the shoulder dot R when it's used as a symmetrized method. So you want to be careful and write dot L with a capital L. You can, you can name anything for the front part, but you have to add the dot L. We didn't add it for the head because there's only one head only one chest only one stomach that's why we didn't add a dot l we didn't add a dot l so for this shoulder we're gonna add a dot l shoulder dot l then we're gonna add a upper arm upper arm dot l and then lower arm dot l arm dot l and then hand dot l and then make sure you name every single bone, even in the fingers, with a dot L. It doesn't matter what the name is, but it has to have a dot L. And don't forget to name these leg bones with dot L. Once I have done that, I will be back in a minute. Alright, once you have named every single bone in the body, as you can see, I have named every single bone, even the fingers. And it, it ha you have to add a dot L for the bones that are two so except from the um stomach chest and then the head you don't have to write a dot l but for the bones that are two like just two shoulders then you have to add a dot l so once you have named every single bone then you're going to go stay in edit mode hit the a key or select all the bones in the armature right click and then click symmetrize and you will see it just has reflected now, if you look here, if you click on the bone, you will see a shoulder dot right, upper arm dot right, and the bones that we just did that I named. So I named these bones, and then they just flipped and I just added a dot R. And now, as you can see, we didn't have to waste our time doing the whole body. We just had to do one side, and then we had to do symmetrize, and then it did it on the other side for us. Now we have done that. What we are going to do. Is that we're going to go back into object mode we're going to select the mesh then shift select the armature and then we are going to control p and then we can set parent with automatic weight and now you have done that if we go to pose mode um control tab is the shortcut key for that now if you move a bone the armature will move as well look at that we have rigged the body as you can see you can create awesome poses with this and as you can see everything is moving you have fully rigged a character of course you have now we have done that i have another video which shows you how shows you how to use inverse kinematics to make you your posing much more better and easier because right now you have to move every single bone to make the 
pose you want. And with inverse kinematics, you only have to move one bone to make your whole pose. So, so in the next video, I will show you how to use inverse kinematics. So I hope you understood how to rig this character and I will see you in the next video.